And now that um, Luke Keekley has retired, the crown of best linebacker outright officially goes to Bobby Wagner of the Seattle Seahawks, which is a very impressive title to hold because not only are you the best middle linebacker, you're not only are you the best player at the most valuable position. I mean, he's proven success early at, at, at times in his career. And even though the Seahawks really haven't been built that way in the past couple of years, he's still been able to do his job and run that defense the best way he can. How you guys doing? It is July 16th, 2020 out here in this quarantine. I'm James Sims. And for this episode of The Elite, I wanted to get into... No, I just want to get into a player that I'm pretty certain is going to be a Hall of Famer, probably first ballot as soon as he retires. Um, Bobby Wagner is a 30-year-old middle linebacker playing um, for the Seattle Seahawks currently. Coming out of Los Angeles, he measures out at about six foot, 242 pounds. You can measure that in your head. That's a very big individual, and if you see him play you'll see why he's one of the best players. He always has his head on the ball. As the middle linebacker, um, I imagine this dude knew every single play this, the other team was going to run every single time. If you watch him play, he's the first one through the hole. He, this, this is the guy that, that logs about 14, 15 tackles, and that's a, that's a regular day for him. So to give you a little bit of background, um, he started out in L.A., he went to Utah State, and in the years he was there, those last three years, he was first team all WAC as his sophomore, he finished with 144 total tackles on the season. His sophomore year, or his junior year, he finished with 133, and his senior year, he finished with 147. He finished with 445 total tackles in 48 total games in college, from freshman to sophomore year. That's including his freshman year. So I guess he was good enough to get drafted. And in 2012, the Seattle Seahawks picked him 47th overall in, the, in, in that draft. And then they picked him up in the second round. And immediately he was plopped in the middle of that Seahawks defense as early as 2012, where in that season he started 15 of the 16 games he played in. Uh, he would finish with 140 total tackles, 140 of them. In a, in a 16 game season, a little less than 10 tackles, um, a game, and he would finish with three interceptions on the season. Uh, he would finish on the all-rookie team, and that season the Seattle Seahawks would finish second in the NFC West. Uh, they would go on to beat the Redskins in the wild card, and they lost the divisional, uh, the divisional playoffs at the uh, Atlanta Falcons that season. But no, like they got incredibly far, and that was the first year Bobby Wagner was there, and he was and he was contributing early, adding 140 tackles to the mix. His second year in the league in 2013, um, he would finish with he'd start 14 games that season, finishing with 120 tackles on the season, finishing with seven passes defended, two interceptions, and that year the Seahawks would go on to win and beat the Broncos 43 to eight in Super Bowl 48 after beating the Saints by eight in the divisional round and beating the Niners by a, less than a touchdown in the NFC Championship. Malcolm Smith, his, his um, Wagner's co-linebacker, was a Super Bowl MVP because, of course, he had the game of his life. And, of course, Bobby Wagner was doing his part to make sure that, the pay, to make sure that Peyton Manning's Denver Broncos stayed at eight points after the historic season that he put up, scoring 54 touchdowns in a 16-game season. He held that offense to eight points, and he was the he was the captain of that defense. Even though they had the Legion of Boom and Pete Carroll and Dan Quinn, were where they were running that they were running that whole system. I got it, but Bobby Wagner was most definitely holding his own that year, despite the fact that he hadn't been a Pro Bowl or an all or or an All Pro linebacker yet. But that wouldn't come until the next year, where he would get his recognition for being the best defensive player on the best defensive team. In 2014, he would start 11 of he would only start um the 11 games he played in. Finish he would finish that season with 104 total tackles on the season, three passes defended, the the like. The Seahawks would finish with a 12 and 4 record winning the NFC West. They would beat they they ended up beating the Panthers in the first round. They beat the Packers in overtime of the NFC Championship, but they lost to the Patriots after Russell Wilson threw an interception at the one yard line, but they were basically one play away from winning back-to-back -back championships and Bobby Wagner was the captain of the defense that got them all the way there. And that year he finished with a, he finished with his first Pro Bowl. That, that was the first year he was named to an all-pro team. 
but he was being recognized as the, as the best linebacker in football alongside Luke Keekley at the time. Because I don't know if there was ever a time where you could give it to one of them outright. And that's kind of, that was kind of the balance that you saw between the two. That was his 2014 season. And three years into the league, he had been reckon- he, this is a player who had been recognized as the best linebacker in the league, who was one play away from being a two-time champion. But as of right now, he's still a one-time champion as the middle linebacker of the Seattle side, as the Seattle Seahawks defense. And with the with his Pro Bowl and his all pro, by twenty five he had been one of the he had been recognized as the league's best linebacker alongside Luke Keekley. In twenty fifteen, he started fifteen he started uh fifteen games that season, the fifteen games he played. He finished with two touchdowns off fumble recoveries, by the way. He finished with 114 tackles on the season as the Seahawks would finish the year second in the NFC West with a 10-6 and six record. They would go on to beat the Vikings in the first round of the playoffs, only allowing them to score nine points, and they would lose to the Panthers in the divisional round the year that the Panthers went to the Super Bowl. Um, that was the 2015 season. The next season, in 2016, uh, he would go on to win his third straight. He would be named to his third straight Pro Bowl and his second All Pro and All Pro team in three years, while starting in sixteen games. He would finish the league leading the NFL. This is the only year he'd lead the NFL in tackles. He finished with one hundred and sixty seven tackles, playing every single game that season. He still averaged more than ten tackles a game. Um, the Seahawks that year would finish first in the NFC West with a 10-5-1 record, beating the Lions in the first round and then eventually losing to the Falcons in the divisional round the year that the Falcons went to the Super Bowl. And Bobby Wagner was once again recognized as the league's best linebacker alongside Luke Keegan, as, as as one of the league's best linebackers, which is the league's most important position. I mean, every team has linebackers. And for the, for the second time in three years, he was recognized as one of the best of them. Um, in 2017, he would go on to secure his uh, his fourth straight Pro Bowl and his third first team all li- all all Pro team recognition yet again. He would lead the league in total tackles in '97. He finished with 133 total, and that year the Seahawks would finish second in the NFC West and completely miss the playoffs. With Bobby Wagner once again, with his third with, with being recognized as the best linebacker for the third time in four years, and then he would go on to be a Pro Bowler and a first team All Pro for the next two years. Um, as he would go on to lead the league in tackles this most this past year with 159, as the Seahawks these past couple of years would go on to lose to the Cowboys in the in the wild card and losing to the Packers this most recent year in the divisional playoffs after beating the Eagles. So, if you look at Bobby Wagner's career as of right now, and you see him as a 30 year old linebacker with so much more to prove, he has a thousand total tackles to his name. He has a Super Bowl championship. He has six Pro Bowls. He has five team. He's, he's he used named to the first team. He was a first team All Pro linebacker five times. Second team All Pro once. The the one year that he didn't win it naturally, um, he was an All Rookie player. He was a, he led the league in tackles twice. He was named to the NFL twenty twenties All Decade team. He was one of the main contributors. One of the main reasons that the Seahawks were able to get so deep in the playoffs since he's been able to get there. I mean, since he's gotten there, the Seahawks have missed the playoffs one time and they went nine and seven that year. That is insane. He was the he was the captain of that defense that was that stayed strong and has gotten the Seahawks double digit wins every single year he's been there, except for 2017, where they won nine. I think that carries a lot more weight for Bobby Wagner than people give him credit for. Um, I imagine he's like I, I I like the position that he's in. I don't know if they're really positioned to win a championship very soon. I don't know if he's gonna leave, but I mean here he has a championship. Here he has he's he's already recognized as the best linebacker, and I imagine he enjoys playing in Seattle with Russell Wilson and Pete Carroll in the coaching system. So I have no idea with what he's gonna do, but to me, I think he's a legendary linebacker in a couple more years of being an all pro. Of locking down that all pro to me will will say will solidify him as a goat in my eyes. But without further ado, I really appreciate you for listening to all ten minutes of this. If you ever get a chance, peep my boy Bobby Wagner whenever the Seahawks play. He wears number fifty four. Watch him, and just count the just count the amount of times it looks as though he's guessed the play correctly. He can guess the exact right hole, and I promise you, it'll be more than you think it is. With all that said. Peace out.